seeing a young boy begging, pleading on a school bus, pleading that he won't have to leave with his dad. Watch this. Police in San Antonio, Texas, uh, say the dad, Jean-Philippe Lacombe, tricked a judge. Uh, as, as we showed the little guy pleading there. Uh, now, the dad tricked the judge, saying that he had custody of the 10-year-old. And then we see that awful scene. Little Jean-Paul and his father, they're now missing. And his mom desperately trying to get him back. Here's David Mattingly from our sister network, CNN, with more. It's an ugly child custody fight caught on tape with a very frightened little boy caught in the middle. With his own father standing outside his school bus, listen as 10-year-old John Paul Lacombe Diaz pleads with Texas constables for help, begging to stay with his mother. We're not going to let him do anything to you. We're not going to let him do anything to you. His mother says it should have never been allowed to happen. Take him to a place where he's going to be safe, not just given to him. If, if, someone, if the kid was shouting, just please don't give my, my body to him, please put me in a safe place. He was ple pleading for that. But Texas constables had a court order and turned him over to his father on the spot. Jean-Philippe Lacombe told a Texas judge he had legal custody of his son in Mexico. He did not. All this happened two months ago. Texas authorities have since discovered Lacombe actually lost custody and visitation rights after he took his son away to France in 2005. His mother had to fight two years to get him back. She moved to the United States thinking that here they would be protected. So where did everything go wrong? The judge says he acted properly based on the documents he was presented. You've got lawyers, your officer of the court telling you, here's the, here's the order, here's my client swearing to you that something's going to happen to the child. You have to understand in this case, these people were making allegations, they were swearing to me. But listen to what the child says here. Oh, you got your dad. The district attorney says there's been no report of physical abuse in this case so far, and they're still investigating. But she says just the allegation alone at the time should have been enough for officers at the scene to act. The officers are initially under responsibility to report any form of child abuse that they are aware. You have a child who is out crying. Common sense would be that the officers call Child Protective Services, and they didn't do that. The father and the child have not been heard from since. Calls to his attorneys by CNN were not returned. Jean-Philippe Lacombe is now wanted for kidnapping and accused of lying to the judge. David Mattingly, CNN, Atlanta. Very difficult. It's heartbreaking to watch that. Uh, we'll take your calls, one eight seven seven tell hln Joining me to talk about this, little Jean Paul's mom, Bernice Diaz, uh, along with her attorney, Miguel Ortiz. Uh, Bernice, I have to start. We're sorry, uh, because we know it must be difficult for you to hear that and see that again, your son on the bus. How are you holding up as you continue to uh, fight this and, and hopefully and prayerfully get your son back? Well, um... I have to be strong because I have to to find him. It it, it hurts, you know, every time that I hear mm -hmm. his his voice and it, it hurts deeply. But I have to, to stand still until I get him back. Mm. Bernice, uh, let's start with your son. Uh, any idea where he could be, where he and his father could be? No, I really don't know. I'm still holding his Mexican passport, and um, he's a Mexican citizen. Uh, they are also French citizens, and uh, Juan Felipe is already um, uh, have a wife from uh, Russia. So I don't know where they are. And he and he's pretty well well off. He's a millionaire, right? He has a lot of money. He could be anywhere, right? Yes, he could be anywhere. Uh, did you see him at the airport with your son? 
Uh, yes. And was it the next day? And and what happened? What did you talk? to the father, to your son at the airport? Yes, I have a hunch, you know, that uh, then I went with my, 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 with my family, my cousins and my aunt to the, to the airport to, to look for him. And then I saw Jean-Philippe, you know, at Mexicana counter with the passports. And then I saw my kid sitting down in the rest area. So I grabbed my son and I told him, please, let's go. And he said, no, because my dad will kill you if I run from him mm. and I say that's not true and then you know uh, Juan Felipe came you know and they I, I start calling the police and then uh, the police came and you know was the, they gave him again because they had the court orders so you had another confrontation with uh, his the boys your son's father and police showed up again and he left with your son again is what you're saying yes. at the airport yes but you didn't see him board a plane or anything, so we're not no, sure what, what no, happened No, no, no. Okay. Uh, to, if you can, I, I know it's difficult, but it's, you had no idea that uh, constables were going to come and apprehend your son at, on, off the bus, right? No, Going back to that of course day. not. No, no. For me, it was a regular day. So you show up, and what, what happens? What unfolds? When I show up, you know, I saw these two uh, car, police cars, and then I saw a lot of policemen, you know, uh, there on the road. And then I saw they were bringing down my kid from the, from the bus. And I started saying, what happened? So I went to get uh, out of the car, and a policeman came and uh, gave me some papers and asked me uh, that I, if I have, uh, you know, my driver license or something. And I started seeing, you know, my kid my two kids crying mm. you know uh, and then uh, i asked the, the policeman what are you doing he said we are going to take your kid and I say why because we have a court order and i say but let me go you know to to talk to him and he didn't want at the beginning so then another policeman came and said okay let her you know go and approach to 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 the their son so you know then i start i i heard uh, juan felipe shouting you know, uh, then I knew what was happening because I saw him there. Mm. Uh, but uh, then I told my kid, okay, don't worry, you know, we're going to be fine. I think this is a mistake. And I asked the policeman, please, this is a mistake. Don't give it to him. You know, he said, I can do nothing. We have a court order. Then my child, you know, starts screaming again and say, to whom I have to talk because I don't want to go with him. You know, he mistreat him. He hit me, you know. Mm. And I say, and he said, don't worry, you're going to talk to the judge on Monday. And that promise mm. never realized. Bernice, how difficult was it? I, I've seen this, the photos and the, and the video, that, that hug there outside of the bus, and your son, I believe, is holding a teddy bear. How difficult was that? To, to, to say my feelings. Mm -hmm. It is, you know, it is a, a nightmare to, to every parent that cares about their child, you know, to mm -hmm. say goodbye. Um, and then have a false promise from someone and then realizing when it was happening that it was a big mistake. So it, it is, it has been very difficult since that. I haven't had a life you know, he, he abducted my child. Bernice, uh, we're going to continue this conversation. We're going to continue to follow this story. Uh, we'll, we'll have much more after break. Stay with us.